This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist, here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks closed mostly lower for the second week in a row over concerns around the government debt ceiling. It was reported on Friday that a debt ceiling meeting between President Joe Biden and congressional leaders was postponed to next week. The S&P 500 fell two-tenths of one percent. The Dow was down 1.1 percent, while the Nasdaq eked out a gain of four-tenths of one percent. Meanwhile, inflation, as measured by the CPI and the PPI, continues to move in the right direction. CPI climbed by 4.9 percent, slightly lower than the 5 percent in March. It's the 10th consecutive month that the headline CPI rate has slowed, and it's at its lowest rate since April of 2021. PPI increased only 2.3 percent, following a 2.7 percent gain in March. This is the lowest rate since January of 2021. Now, clearly, inflation is moderating at the consumer and producer levels, leading many to believe that the Federal Reserve will finally take a pause from raising interest rates at the next meeting in mid-June. Nevertheless, bearish sentiment among Wall Street strategists continues to climb. Collectively, they are more negative on stocks than at any point since the great financial crisis in 2008-2009, which is quite surprising, considering the fact that earnings and economic data continues to beat expectations. Nearly all companies in the S&P 500 have reported earnings, and 79% of those firms beat analyst expectations. So earnings have beat expectations. Inflation is falling. The economy is slowing, but growing. Bond prices are rising, and the S&P 500 year-to-date is up 8%. And in the face of all this positive news, Wall Street strategists and many investors are bearish and negative. It may not sound like much, but reality beating grim expectations is the driving force of almost every bull market in history. Markets do what they always do and confound the majority opinion of the day. The market is counterintuitive. It will often do the opposite of what most investors expect. So the good news is today with so many skeptics, so many perma bears, and negative Wall Street strategists, it looks like the groundwork is set for this market to continue to climb the proverbial wall of worry. My son, Ryan, and I, we have 70 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management, wishing all of you a happy Mother's Day.